Yeah, I got to comment something on his uh, Snowden deal because something about with Snowden when he uh, basically he was looking for another place to go after he uh, blew the whistle on the NSA, which I think was a very brave thing to do. But I, I tell you the truth, I would never in a million years go to Russia. As you know, by saying you know, not that I got something against the Russian people or anything, but the regime over in Russia is actually worse than in the United States. They got more totalitarian control, more spying, and um, you know the new successor organization, the FSB, actually is more centralized than the old KGB. So there's actually more potential for even more problems there in the future. Uh, but, you know, everything's kind of like. Uh, Nothing's really bad as happening as like it happened under Stalin's time, of course, but the system itself has actually gotten more centralized. I don't know why Snowden went there. I mean, he's he's a younger person. He did a very brave thing, but something just doesn't add up with that. That would not be my decision. I know that. Um, personally, if I was ever to freaking rat on the government, per se, it wouldn't be against... Well, it wouldn't be against my country, of course, but I would not <coughs> go to another country. I know that. I definitely wouldn't do that. Um, you know, I guess the whole deal would be to be incognito, you know, under the radar. And if you had to escape, the best way to do it is probably try to change identities. That's the best thing. I'd only be looking out for me, number one, but I definitely wouldn't go to another country to throw dirt on the United States, more or less. Because he's not exactly doing that, but the thing is, he's actually making it look like Russia's all fair and square. Now, if anybody, politician, had any brains with this whole Snowden thing, the smart thing to do. But, but you know, I'm with, this is the whole thing. I'm smelling a scam. It's almost like what I'm smelling with the New World Order is they're deliberately building up the prestige of Russia to make you run to that system. That's what I think. A lot of that stuff is going on. They want people dissatisfied with the United States. They want them to move away from our way of life and that type of stuff. And it's not really the system that's the problem. It's the fact that the system isn't being implemented. You don't want to be going over to something else. You know, it's not really the system that's the problem. But, um, you know, if there was actually somebody, a politician, that really wanted to play it shrewd, I mean, my angle with Snowden would be, um, total forgiveness, you know, forget it, I mean, just forget about it, Dude, just the whole thing, forget about it, you know, damage is done, whatever the hell you did, fine, it's done, that's the way I would play it, that's the way I would play it as a politician, I wouldn't call him a hero, and I wouldn't, you know, downgrade him, that's exactly how I would play it, because I don't like how this whole deal is coming out, it's almost like it tarnishes the United States, and uh, that may actually be the goal, that may be the goal. Something just doesn't add up right with this guy. I don't know what the deal is. Something just does not jive right with me, with this Snowden guy. I don't know what the deal is. It's like he should not have um, gone to that country of, of any place. I don't know where the hell he can go. But, I mean, the way I look at it is, say, you just want to escape the United States and get away from the bad guys. I mean... I mean, I, hey, why not just go somewhere else that's, you know, be incognito someplace, you know, Thailand or Philippines or someplace more remote and uh, pick up another identity, right? If you could do that. I mean, I just flat out would not go to Russia or China or any place like that because to me that's like endorsing them as better than here. And it's not. They're actually even worse. They're actually even worse. So something doesn't smell right with this whole Snowden deal. I don't think we're actually, because I, I think most of the stuff that goes on in uh, what you see in the news and in politics or whatever the hell it is, it isn't really what it is on the surface. It's other things going on, you know. So, and you know the whole thing actually too with a lot of these things where they got these agencies spying on America. The actual only way to freaking stop it is to defund them. Defund them actually. That's the best way to stop it per se. Um, and, you know, the thing is, uh, you know, really, how are they being funded? Is it through drug money, some cases? And probably that's the case. But, you know, right there, all individual Americans can actually 
defund them that way just by not doing drugs, right? I mean, really think about it. I mean, I don't know how the hell this whole freaking drug phenomenon took root in the United States, but um, that is actually a lot more of the black ops funding comes from that versus uh, actually being appropriated by Congress through some uh, buried in some line budget line item in the Pentagon has. It's actually more of it's funded through illicit operations. So if Americans really want to defund this whole kind of garbage that's going on, it's actually to, you know, not use money for drugs, right? People won't do that, though, right? That's the problem. But, you know, the thing is, I with Snowden, I don't know, man. Something just doesn't, something has been bugging me for a long time with this guy that something doesn't add up. He's very smart. I mean, obviously, he knows that if he knows that America's spying on its citizens, he should know that he definitely should know that Russia's doing the same thing and probably worse. It's also a similar system. So why would he go there? I don't know. Don't make any sense to me, man. Don't make any sense to me at all. I know, like, if I was to try to be incognito, I personally would try to stay in the United States and just change identities and... Uh, you know, live below the radar. That's the way I would play it, you know. I wouldn't even try to go to another country. That's the way I personally would play it, you know. So, and if I went to another country, it sure wouldn't be something like Russia, you know. I don't really, and I don't have nothing against the Russian people. I think the Russian people get screwed over uh, in 50 different ways. I mean, it's like, they get screwed over even from their own leadership. I mean, they just had an incident recently with, um, I don't know, they claim it was a Muslim or something that killed a ethnic Russian for no reason. He was just walking out of, a, you know, some place and uh, killed the guy right there on the spot. No, pr no provocation. It was a hate crime. And, uh, you know, they just had a major riot over there over this hate crime because the authorities are like, you know, just, they don't do nothing about it. They don't do anything about it. And they're saying that Russia should be for Russians. Well, you know what? I agree with that. <laughs> it's like I said, I don't have nothing against the Russian people at all. But somehow, man, there's, it's like the elite are playing the Russians from their side. And the American elite are playing the Americans from their side. And they're both working together to uh, bring about global government. That's what they're doing. Uh, so somehow, I don't smell, I, you know, I can't really point to exactly exactly what the deal is with Snowden, but something very obvious doesn't make sense. I mean, he's a bright individual. He understands all the spying that's going on in the U.S., but he also shouldn't be understanding very well that there's a lot of spying going on in Russia. So why go there? Why go there? It's almost like you're endorsing that and saying this is bad. And that's good. They're both bad. They're both bad. I don't get the deal. Something doesn't add up with this guy. And I don't know what it is. I just have been searching for stories as to explain it. But somehow that, that, that factoid doesn't add up with me at all. You know, why would he go to some system that's probably even far more totalitarian and more, has more spying going on than even in the United States? Why would he go there? That's not something I would do. <laughs> I personally wouldn't even leave the United States, you know. I would try to uh, be incognito and change identities if I had to do something like that. Or if, uh, you know, I changed to another country, uh, you know, I'd be <laughs> I don't know what it would be. It would probably be someplace that it was not uh, so blatantly against human rights as what's going on in Russia. You know, I agree with the, I think the Russian people get screwed over big time, man. They get screwed over by their leadership, um, and their economically they're getting screwed over. The disparity between uh, rich and rich and poor is even worse than here in the United States, uh, which is getting worse over here. And uh, they're having their country taken away from them by you know migrant Muslim people that do hate crimes against uh, people that live in uh, in uh, Russia itself, and they got no protection against it at all. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But something doesn't add up about this Snowden guy. And uh, I can't put my finger on what, what it exactly is, other than the obvious, obvious fact that 
Why did he go to Russia? I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's like going from like, you know, at best it would be almost like comparing from going, you know, to, from the NSA to the CIA or something or whatever. If you're against that type of stuff, right? You think one's bad and the other one's. He's going from one place to one fire to another fire. I don't know. Don't make any sense to me. It don't make any sense to me. And, uh, you know, if he was a shrewd politician who wants to, uh, I don't know, if I was a politician, I wouldn't call him a hero, and I wouldn't call him uh, a bad guy either. I'd just say forget about it. Just, you know, water under the bridge and uh, welcome back. That's all I'd say because, you know, <laughs> I mean, maybe some kind of slap on the wrist, but it would be no severe punishment, not in any any way, shape, or form, you know. Because, uh, you know, it looks bad for the United States, and this has become a big, um, you know, propaganda thing for Putin and Russia. And, you know, maybe that's the whole game with the New World Order. They want people to run over to the, that area, basically, in that system as the better alternative. And that's kind of like what I've been smelling all along for quite some years now. And it fits in exactly with what Major Galitzin was talking about, too. That they want the West to reject its system, and they will install a type of hybrid communism that's mixed with some capitalism with a more human face. So, you know, that kind of fits the whole scenario, Snowden scenario. Makes Russia look good, don't it? And they're not good. They're not good. I feel like I said. I feel bad for the Russian people because the Russian people get screwed over from fifty million different ways, man. I ain't got nothing against them at all. 